and a family. Proverbs is a book of practical wisdom. It tells us how to live a successful life in a broken world. One character quality that's required, absolutely required, for successful living is diligence. Solomon, who's the author of Proverbs, commands the lazy person in Proverbs 6.6 6 in very graphic language. He tells them, Go to the ant, O sluggard, observe her ways, and be wise, which having no chief, officer, or ruler, prepares her food in the summer and gathers her provision in the harvest. Now, diligence is careful attention and constant effort in the pursuit of a specific purpose. It's, it's really being responsible and reliable and completing a task on time and with excellence. The Bible always commends diligence and actually criticizes its opposite, which is slothfulness. Sluggard is another word for slothful person. really means lazy, sleepy, slow-moving, idle, inactive. A slothful person is allergic to work and, and addicted to rest. Their desire for ease is stronger than their desire to obey the Lord. Solomon says, go to the ant, sluggard. Observe how the ant behaves and go and do likewise. Ants are diligent. Ants are always moving, and they're always moving with purpose and speed in a definite direction. How many of us have ever seen a lazy ant? One of the things Solomon notices is that ants do not require supervision to get their job done. They don't require a job description or a taskmaster. They work hard and they work smart instinctively. They're either headed away from the colony to forage for food or fight off enemies, or they're probably headed back to the colony with food or maybe dead enemies. Solomon notes that they have the foresight to gather food in the summer, so that they'll have full larders in the wintertime. There's an old farm saying, when I grew up, it says, make hay when the sun shines, make haste when it doesn't. The opposite of an ant or a diligent person is the sluggard or the sloth. And you've probably seen pictures of the sloth hanging from trees in the rainforest, maybe in South America. They pretty much eat leaves and sleep all day, every day. Actually, the sloth is so stationary that moth, moss actually grows on their back. If they do move, it's extremely slow. And Solomon uses that as an illustration, and he warns the lazy person. He says, how long will you lie down, O sluggard? When will you rise from your sleep? Then he gives him a quote. A little sleep, a little slumber, a little folding of the hands to rest, and your poverty will come like a vagabond and your want like an armed man. The story is told of an old mountaineer and his wife who were sitting in front of their fireplace just whiling away the time one evening. After a long time, his wife said to him, Jed, I think it's raining. Why don't you go outside and see? The old mountaineer continued to gaze into the fire. He sighed and he said, Ah, oh, Ma, why don't we just call him the dog and see if he's wet? Slothful people often excuse their behavior. You know, they'll say things like, well, I've only hit the button, snooze button, four times this morning. I'm, I'm just taking an extra 10 minutes on my lunch break, and I, I do get to work late, but it's only, you know, 10, 15 minutes every day. It's no big deal. Well, the truth is a little laziness adds up to a lot of work that's undone. Sooner or later, that could cost you your job. Many people love to live on Easy Street, which was one of the tunes from the movie Annie. Everybody likes to take it easy. In 1933, Hoagie Carmichael and Johnny Mercer wrote a song called Lazy Bones. And some of the, uh, not chorus lines, but the verse lines go, Lazy Bones, sleeping in the sun, how you expect to get your day's work done? Lazy bones, loafing all the day. How do you expect to make a dime that way? See, laziness is easy in the present. Slothfulness is the path of least resistance right now. Solomon says the ultimate outcome of slothfulness is starvation. And that's why he commends the lazy person to observe the ant and be diligent and be moving with purpose and 
effort and energy in a specific direction for a specific goal and pay attention to the details on the way. So the message for us is whatever you do, do with diligence. Remember, God designed us to do life together.